we're a close-knit community here, that this place has saved their lives. That if it wasn't for Sunny Acres, they would be back in jail or they are dead. That they, you know, this has given them their lives back. So it basically came down to I didn't have any purpose in life. Came down to do, to, to talk to Dan. And uh, I talked to him right here in this courtyard. He asked me if I could work. I said, yeah, I can work. He says, we'll take you. I went home, packed a suitcase, went to the bar, got, had a few drinks, packed a suitcase, came back the next day, and my mom basically rolled in, kicked me out of the car, and said, you, this is it. You, haven't, you can't come back to my place. This is your last, this is your last chance. I was 53 at the time. People ask how we, well, how do you do it? Well, you can't just go hire a manager and go, here's the book. This is what's expected of you. You have to live it. We work with the sheriff's department. We work with mental health. We work with parole and probation. The, those, those people are involved with the people that, that live here on the ranch that without us would be on the streets. There's no... There's no doubt about it.